Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, May 17th, 2019 edition. Kenny Lin has returned to making dramas. Finally, first meeting, last farewell, a literal translation of its Chinese title, 最初的相遇, 最后的别离, is an upcoming Chinese modern drama starring Kenny Lin, Gai Yuexi, and Du Chun, and they held their booting ceremony yesterday that tells the story of an ex-cop who returns to the force for an undercover mission, and during his mission, he falls in love and gets involved in a love triangle. Kenny Lin's last drama appearance was in Princess Agents with Zhao Liying two years ago. Gai Yuexi was in Youth with Zhen Suang and Du Chun was an excellent investor. I'd been wondering when Kenny Lin was going to return to dramas. After all, he did such a great job in Princess Agents. Since then, he's done a couple of movies, including Journey to the West, which I really enjoyed, and Four Heavenly Kings, which was so-so, but it also co-starred his best buddy, Mark Chow. Whether it's dramas or movies, it's mostly been costume stuff for him, so this modern drama will be a new look for him, and I'm looking forward to it. The Files of Teenagers in the Concession is an upcoming Republican-era drama starring Huang Zitao and Sophie Zhang. It tells the story of a young man, played by Tao, who overcomes many hardships to become a formidable force in the Shanghai Bund. Sophie plays a courageous young woman who joins Tao's character as they strive to expose the rampant corruption in that period. The drama co-stars Liu Yining as a military type and reunites Tao with his brightest star in the night co-stars Cao Xiyue and Wang Jingsong. Tao was in another similar drama that was supposed to air on January 30th, Yan Shi Fan. It is also a Republican-era drama with themes of patriotism and bravery. If that one does not air soon, Files of Teenagers in the Concession might air first and steal its thunder. Whichever one premieres first, they're both packed with martial arts, so we'll get to see Tao showcase some wushu, something he's actually very good at. Netizens judge and criticize celebrities all the time on social media, but one netizen took it too far with her criticisms of 10 Miles of Peach Blossom star Yang Mi and Yang Mi has fought back. According to Sena Entertainment, the netizen whose family name is Peng posted multiple times online calling Yang Mi a fake friend and that she specializes in betraying others. Most of these posts were referring to Yang Mi's speculated broken friendship with Tiffany Tang. Having enough of it, Yang Mi sued Peng and the judge recently ruled in Yang Mi's favor. The judge ordered Peng to compensate Yang Mi 50,000 yuan, about 7,200 US dollars for inflicting emotional distress and 16,000 yuan for court fees. Peng defended that her posts were appropriate speculations against a public figure and that they didn't defame Yang Mi. But the judge disagreed and stated that Peng's actions did harm Yang Mi's reputation. Moral of the story, don't go around making false statements that will defame a person's reputation. That is the definition of slander and that goes for everyone, not just celebrities. Instead of dragging other people's names through the mud for no other reason than to get a little attention, let's spread positive messages of love and encouragement. In any case, it's Yang Mi 1, haters 0. Good on her for standing up to them.